All right, guys, we're back here in Atlanta, Georgia, getting ready to take you to... A place founded in 1928. 1928. It's also known as the largest drive-in restaurant in America. <laughs> so stupid. I've had so much soda pop today that I can't not be ridiculous. Be. So, yeah, my brain is dead. <laughs> I'm brain dead. Brace so. yourselves. <laughs> What the hell, what the hell, what the hell, what the hell? <laughs> it's the varsity. <laughs> I literally have no idea where to start. Um, chili hot dog with cheese and mustard. I don't know how that happened because I don't remember ordering it that way, but oh, the hat's gonna fall off, isn't it? Oh yeah. Look at this sailor. I am a sailor. I got you a fork, I guess. You yeah. can use that to <laughs> eat to get the this frosted orange, orange out. shake. Because it's not coming out with a straw. So I'm going to eat my shake with this fork. Ooh, that's good. Ooh, that's that tastes good. just like one of those orange push pops, like the Flintstones pops that we had growing up. Let me try this again. Maybe get to the actual sauce and the cheese on here. It's a good chili cheese dog. Chili, chili cheese, cheese dog, dog yum. yum. I knew it was coming. And we also got a chili cheese burger. So, basically a Sloppy Joe chili dog burger thing. Chili dog burger. I don't know. Uh -huh. There's a lot of words that have been said today. That might have to be how I get all my cheeseburgers from now on. A little bit of ketchup on it, though. Mmm. That is a tasty burger. Need some more shakeums. If you try real hard, you can use the straw. Okay. It's onion ring time. It's your big boy. Let's see how easy it breaks. I heard it all the way over here. It's a good crunch. Came out clean. Then pull an no onion pull. out. That's perfect. Unlike a cheese pool, yeah. I don't like an yeah. onion pool. You don't want the other pool. Mm. I will say those onion rings are greasy, so napkins at the table. Table neck. I love it. Nope, oh, nope, that's a chili dog. Let's go back to just the plain dog. I'll give that a whirl. Your plain Jean. Well, not plain. MK. MK, because mustard and ketchup, which I did not order it that way. So, kind of felt like you an idiot. You ordered mustard and ketchup, just yeah. not shorthand. Yeah, I didn't say what I needed to. But they didn't berate us like they do at some places. That's a good dog. I think I like the plain one better than the chili dog. Wow. That's good. I think the chili kind of overpowers it. But it doesn't overpower the hamburger. Mm-mm. No. I think it's because that has mustard on it, and that doesn't. So maybe I should try that with sauce and see what's up. Sauce. Mm. Very yummy. <laughs> Oh yeah, it looks great on top of your hat. I was going to just put it on without a hat, but because the printing is the same on both sides, it's impossible for me to turn it backwards, so it was in a conundrum. Okie dokie. So like Grace said, we placed an order. <laughs> we got a lot of other things other than what we ordered, so I don't know if that's because we're 
celebrities or just because we ordered wrong. But uh, we have lots of things here. So we'll try this cheddar cheese dog, yum. It has sliced American cheese on it, which not my favorite, but I'll try. That mushroom on there is very bitey. Bitey. It hits you right in the back of your throat. But in a good way. That's a good wiener. Maybe not the best wiener I've ever had in my life, but... You've had a lot no of wieners. No comments. I'm closing the comment section of this video right now. You've got to get onion that ring. ketchup on that onion ring. <laughs> if you watch the video with your eyes closed just for the AMSR, that's good, but... Or ASMR, but don't look at my face when I did that or else everything you would have gained has been taken from you. O-ring. Those taste like the onion rings that my parents used to make when I was growing up at home. They had this batter mix that mm -hmm. you put them in and then we had a fry daddy. Like a real 1980s American family. Chili burger. Burger burger. That's a good burger. The chili is not really traditional chili. It's not really Cincinnati chili. It's just kind of, like Grace said, kind of a spicy, sloppy joe. It's not, um, it doesn't have any beans, obviously, or anything like that, so. But it was very good. Let me try this oh, yeah. shake. The orange shake. Frosted orange. orange. I'm going to see if I can taste Fred Flintstone in this. Rubble, rubble? That's the hamburger. Oh, yeah. He says yabba dabba doo. Yabba dabba doo. That's what it is. That's him. You were already going to say it and I ruined it. You I'm ruined sorry. it. You stole my jokes. That's what you're supposed to be my partner and you don't take my jokes. I'm sorry. It's good. It's a, it could use one more little punch of orange mm -hmm. IMO. But yeah, it's not super orangey. Yeah. It's good stuff. It's not like the um, orange shake at our favorite establishment, Arby's. <laughs> the, the Arby's oranges. It's the best. Pretty, it's the pretty, best. pretty good. We haven't done a shout out to Arby's in a while, so it was long overdue. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I don't know if you can see all the traffic and everything behind me, but we are literally right here on probably the craziest highway that I've ever seen outside of maybe New York City. It's cray around here. But they have a lot of parking, which is awesome. We're actually like above a parking garage yeah, right now where you can park to eat, which is where we parked. But yeah, and then mm -hmm. little drive in. It's awesome. And this burger that we didn't order tastes exactly like the burgers that I would have at lunch growing up at school. At school. So um, shout out to a Panther burger. It's one of those things where, like, a fine dining person may come and eat that and not think it's the best thing in the world, but nostalgically, that's seventh grade mm -hmm. right there. I do wish I had cheese on it, though. Well, we can peel the cheese off of this and throw it onto that. Of the chili dog? Yep. Yeah, since we got extra food somehow. I don't know how that happened, mishaps, but I'm not mad about it. I'm eating all of the regular hot dog. You need to eat more of that since that's probably going to be your favorite. Yeah, I know. I'm a messy eater. That's why I we love any time they Play a little give... three-card Monty here with okay. these. Okay, okay. Mm, that one. Mm -hmm. You got it. But yeah, I like when they give you the napkins on the table. Necky. You don't have to worry about it. I'm going to add ketchup to this and see what's up. Mm -hmm. Go for it. All right. Try this bad boy with ketchup. <laughs> Game changer. Game changer. It makes it tastes a lot more like chili. I'm just need a chili down there. Ooh, what I wouldn't give for a water. We ordered, we just didn't get. Maybe that's what she thought I said when I said, can I have a water? She said, I'd also like a hamburger yeah. and an extra chili dog. Well, what we failed to see on the lingo board was that water equals cheeseburger. <laughs> There's no way we didn't get somebody else's food. It's the oldest carny trick in the book. <laughs> I will say, the onion rings, as they said, get a little less crispy. But if you're not here filming, 
they'll stay crispy for you. They are greasy. Maybe just a little bit of gut rot. It doesn't help that we have... food gives you a little bit of gut rot, I think. It doesn't help that we already drank two pounds of Coca-Cola each. Coca-Cola. I'd say if you had two pounds, I had nine. Oh, easily. Um, The one good thing about this not being as strong and flavorful as all of this is so strong and flavorful it is kind of a nice reprieve where i think if it was as flavorful as the arby's orange it would be too much yeah you could be right we can disagree if you want but no i agree i'm usually right tell you one thing that was disappointing i've been here before mm-hmm. when i was here before as soon as you walk through the front door they yell at you where are we what do you have what do you have i didn't hear a single person didn't say today. today they no. didn't I don't, I don't know what's happening to this world. Mm, COVID. <laughs> okay. COVID. I don't know why. I COVID think. stopped people from saying, "What will you have?" Yeah. Oh, look at this guy. That's your octopus. Do you want to wishbone it? Like a Thanksgiving yep. turkey. All right. Uh, oh, Bay wins. I do win. Good job. Thank you. I normally win the wishbone you game. I do. Because I cheat and, you know, figure it out ahead of time which side's going to break. That's a crunch. (laughs) (laughs) Sound effects added in later. Yeah. I have made a mess. No one is surprised. No. All right, so here is a look at our receipt. We got a number two, which is a chili cheese dog and a chili cheese boiga or burger. For those of you who don't say weird words like that. Oh no, I'm so full I can't even think. We got onion rings, a set of fries, and a frosted orange instead of a soda pop since we just filled up at the Coke factory. And then an additional naked dog, but MK. Not too bad. 20 bucks for a good lunch and we are full to the gills. up at the varsity i really liked it for my first time let that fire truck go by and we're back um so i thought it was really good my favorite part were the onion rings and then uh, the chili cheese dog yum it was delicious i really liked it i thought it was reasonably priced as well fast service tons of parking tons of places to sit i just kept walking and walking and it's like there's so many tables in here. I might get lost. But There's like good. eight different hidden rooms full of seats inside there too, so mm-hmm. it's great. But yeah, you can definitely tell there's a lot of history there. It's a pretty awesome place. Happy that we got to come and experience it together. Oh, yeah. that's cold. Oh, cold wind. So you may notice from these videos that our faces look like we've been bitten and turned into radioactive lobsters. Uh, <laughs> we, we went to the NASCAR races in Atlanta on Saturday and Sunday, and although it was this uh, cold, cold, yeah, in the 30s and 40s, uh, it was sunny. And you know the thing that you don't understand about sun when it's freezing cold is uh, you can want to die from freezing, <laughs> but you still get terribly sunburned. So. Um, I think every single year we have to get one time of awful sunburn to remind us that the sun is a real thing and must be mm-hmm. obeyed. Uh, so that's why we look this way. So. And I'm not smiling as much because my lips are so chapped and they hurt. It hurts this much. We have burned lips. <laughs> so now uh, we are straight faced and serious people now, as you can tell. Uh, also, I don't know. I can't see. Oh, yeah, there we go. See it. So back behind us is the Olympic torch. Uh, They had a thing called the Olympics here many, many years ago. (laughs) Maybe you've heard of it. Maybe. I think in 1996. uh, Grace was six years old at the time. Uh, So telling people my birthday. eh, They all know. All right. You're a child. Of the 90s. So anyway, back to the food. (laughs) What'd you think, babe? It's good. (laughs) 
It's, uh, I don't know, it's not great. This is the kind of place where we've seen it on Food Network and we've seen it all over the place for years and years. And I mean, it's kind of the freak factor of the whole place, I guess. The fact that it's gigantic and uh, it's about, I don't know, two blocks away from Georgia Tech's football stadium. So this place gets hopping during a- after games and pre games and all that stuff. So that's why they got so much room in here. The food itself, fine. I mean, it's nothing. I'm not going to make a trip to Atlanta to go here. If I'm in Atlanta, then I'll go here. Um, but that's just the way it goes. It's got a big smell of onion rings, yeah. though. That There's a lot good. of grease, so we're going to probably go so we can get back to the hotel uh, <laughs> before we are mighty sick. <laughs> so let's give a thumbs rating here. Okay. One, two, three. Like three fourths thumbs? Yeah. Both the best three we're both thumbs. right in the middle. Yeah. Right. Yeah, in the middle of the highs. So. We would come again if we're here, but uh, we're not going to drive to Atlanta to come back here, let me tell you. So. I hope you liked this video. If so, give us a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe. Leave a comment if you want. Check your late.